Dr. Werner von Braun was the mastermind behind NASA's early spaceflight programs, and I'm going to show you his office where we learned to go to the moon. Hi, I'm John Williams, and I am standing in front of Dr. Werner von Braun's NASA office. Now, you might know Werner von Braun because he's pretty famous for developing and building the first ever liquid propelled rocket to reach space, the V 2 rocket for the Germans. But dur during the end of World War II, the Americans set off an operation called Operation Paperclip, where we were able to. Uh, capture Von Braun and bring him here to the US and here he pledged to work and get us get us to rival the Soviet Union in space. So as you can see right here, Von, Von Braun, his office, he has some rocket models of the uh, Mercury, Gemini and Apollo era. He has some pictures over here, some books, his suitcase and let me just give you a little um, little look at these rockets. So if you look, you have the V2, you have the Redstone rocket, you have the Jupiter C, you have the Mercury Redstone that carried the Mercury astronauts, you have the Jupiter, you have another Jupiter rocket, you have the Juno B, the Mercury Atlas, the Gemini Titan II, the Saturn 1C, the Saturn 1 Block 2 rocket, and the Saturn 1B. And then if you look, you can't see the top of the Saturn V. That's because in Von Braun's office, it was too tall that they had to literally remove a tile at the, in the top of his office, as you can see in this photo where he, it includes him right here. They had to remove a tile so the rocket could fit in there. It's really amazing stuff. And if you look here, you can see some of his writings and the slide calculator. Really amazing stuff. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.